Well, we're talking with Howard Quill, Chief Minister, uh, this Friday with um, a, a story which is very sad. Um, mm. And I know you are personally very deeply affected, so I'm going to try and be just gentle on this thing. But Bill Malarkey, the news is out was, uh, that he's now died. I mean, it's been an open secret for a lot of people yeah. that his condition has not been good for years. And I, I think on Tuesday you actually left uh, um, the Timor session to go and say your goodbyes to him at that stage almost didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill died l um, last night with his wife and um, daughters by his side. Um, we've known for a while it was coming. Yeah. Um, Bill fought this like you wouldn't believe. You know, if the, I know when I was health and social care minister, there was always two ways of, of fighting cancer. One was the best ways was sort of fight it, and the other was sort of total denial that you had it. And, and yeah. Bill fought it tooth and nail. He was able to cram in getting married, going on a honeymoon, spending fantastic quality time with his wife Pamela and his daughters and grandchild. Um, so, and I worked his socks off as Home Affairs Minister. You would not have known that Bill was terminally ill. No. And, you know, he was in Timwald only a few weeks ago, I, giving, giving his views in, in his own yeah. style as he, as, he, as he used to, and looking after the interests of the people of the Isle of Man and his constituency, Douglas South. Big supporter of yours. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so well, well, personal, personal friend. I've known Bill for years, and, and, and we go to events. Obviously, his wife Pamela and my wife and, and, and ourselves were. You, you know, you sort of have your your political family when, when you, you're you're doing so many hours. That, that's all you get to see. I'm afraid. And um, Bill was a good, good friend and very loyal and hardworking. And, and I will really miss him. I mean, as I said it, a sort of open secret. And, and many times we got very close to doing an interview about it because he he got sort of almost the all clear a couple of times. Which he's, he's yeah. had a roller coaster on this, wasn't it? The, the, the disease was sort. Of, Initially, I think it was well. Well, two years quickly. ago, it, it was only he had a few months. That's to what I mean. It was very, yeah. you know, terminal. But then he, he fought it and carried it, on. He, he he did, and you, you know, I, I think we can be grateful that he had these extra two years. And whilst I am saddened, and I'm sure all his loved ones will be saddened that they've lost their husband, father, grandfather. Um, I'm grateful for the fact that we we had those two extra years to spend with him, and he worked his socks off as Minister for Home Affairs. He he was dedicated. Yeah, I mean, how how do you round up, you know, an, an overview of Bill Malarkey? What do you think? Well, right right to the end, we could we could we could have a laugh, and on on Tuesday I went in to see him, and, and you, you know you, you you knew he didn't have long, but he could still smile when I cracked a joke that he'd be glad to know I hadn't brought him any flowers. Right. Well, we'll leave it there. Yeah. But there's just one shot I want to play you because I, I knew this was happening. And this is a shot of the, from my press point in, in, in the gallery looking at his seat and just that empty seat. And I yeah. must admit, the idea I thought, probably never going to see him take that place again. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very sad. And, um, I th you know, we can let his family respect their privacy. And um, life goes on. But it, I think we're all richer for having known Bill.